Hey, what's up, people? This is Cynic Hex. I'm doing a video about a couple different things today. Uh, I haven't done a video in a week. A lot of stuff has been going on. You know, least of which has been, you know, the tornado. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I do live in Oklahoma, and uh, I live in Norman, which actually is pretty close to where the tornado hit. Uh, I was actually driving on 35, um, right by Moore, when the tornado hit. And it was, uh, it was pretty fucking crazy, <laughs> to be honest with you. Especially, you know, like, you're driving, I mean, it, it, the weather was just nuts. Lots of rain, lots of hail. I mean, it, 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 I only had two options. It was either just keep driving or, you know, like, stop, try to find shelter, and I just chose to keep driving. You know, I'd watched a video um, where a couple people were, like, underneath a bridge. And I was, like, specifically told, you know, if there's a tornado, stay away from, like, underneath a bridge. And, you know, I always figured, hey, you know what? If there's ever a tornado, I'll just keep going. If you show up to the ceremony drunk, so I did. And uh, I got to see it hit, which is, a you know, a, a very shocking time. thing, to be honest with you. I heard they picked up some women in the roundup. Let me take care of these yeah. guys real quick. There we go. Need some help. She's shooting at us. You know what? There we go. All right, fight's done. Yeah, it's definitely a very shocking thing, especially when you're, you know, pretty damn close to it. Now, I wasn't as close as some of the people taking the footage. I could see it in the rearview mirror. Had I been, you know, late or, you know, delayed in being in the location that I was by a couple minutes, like, I, I probably would have been done. Like, there's no doubt about it. Like, I was just way too close. And I probably should have stood, you know, uh, away from the whole area, but, you know, I figured I could beat it and I, I got lucky. That's pretty much that. Uh, aside from the tornado, one of the things I wanted to talk about was the new 7 Series cards that came out. Now, as you guys know, I am currently rocking two 580s and SLI. Uh, I will not be replacing <laughs> two 580s. One, uh, one reason is because the 7 Series, the cards cost just way too damn much. I mean, the, the 780, it's got a $650 price point. And like, let's be real, it, it's it's basically just a rehash 6 Series card. Um, we're, we're calling it the Titan Light, you know, I guess that's what people are starting to call it. But the thing about the, uh, the Titan itself is that, you know, the 7 Series pretty much, you know, even though it's uh, a dual GPU, smokes the, the Titan. And if you're playing at 1080p, you know, not really worth it. It's just not. So, aside from that, one of the reasons why I'm actually playing Tomb Raider was because the uh, CEO of Square Enix North, you know, or, well, not Square Enix North, Square Enix America is stepping down, and it was what they what he's saying is basically it was due to the sales of this game, like it, it didn't meet the expectations that they had. So, some people are saying and rightly so, that his expectations of this might have been too high. While I personally love this game, and I don't know why it didn't sell as much as it should have. I wonder if I can do that from over here. I haven't played this part in quite a bit. I think this game was amazing. And it should have sold a hell of a lot more copies than it did. The same with Sleeping Dogs. If you haven't played Sleeping Dogs, I mean, Steam sales are left and right. Just pick this game up. I think it's 30 bucks right now. And Sleeping Dogs, I think I picked it up for like 10 at some point. And I have no idea why it was 10 bucks. I mean, the game was just completely amazing. You know, if you got the money to, to, to spend on a good game, well, here it is. <laughs> just pick this up and you'll be happy. Definitely won't regret it. I'm playing this on Ultimate Settings at... Uh, and it usually runs between like 80 90 frames with chest effects on. If I take that off, I mean, you're getting a solid 120 easy. But I kind of like having the little individual hair strands, you know? It looks pretty damn cool. Uh, I enjoy it. I love it. I, I, it's, it's more than worth it, in my opinion. 
I'm just trying to like not give any spoilers and so I'm just playing around and showing you guys the way it looks. And it's absolutely freaking gorgeous. I mean, it's one of the best looking games. It's probably my pick for game of the year. I know a lot of people will say that, uh, you know, oh, what about Bioshock Infinite? It's like, no, I hear you. Like, I got you, Bioshock Infinite. But for some reason, I remember more parts of this game than I do Bioshock. Bioshock, I mean, it had a great story. And this has a pretty damn good story, too. Don't get me wrong. And, I mean, the, it, it, they're both really, really damn good. But I think this one, as far as action's concerned, I'd, I'd pick this game. And story... You know, uh, I fell in love with, with both stories, to be honest with you. So it's a really hard... Well, this game felt longer than Bioshock. I felt like I was playing Bioshock for 15 minutes until I beat it. <laughs> I don't know why. And I'm not sure why this felt longer. I guess because I had more fun in the combat for this game than I did for, for Bioshock. I don't know why. But, uh... I, I think the I think the violence of this game is a little bit more suiting than the way the violence played out in, in, in Bioshock. It was like a little maybe too much shock value. You know, while I have no problem with violence in video games at all, to be honest with you. Oh shit. If it makes any sense. Whereas and there's just some parts was like, okay, alright, damn Booker. You know, like right off the bat shred in the guy's face, you're like, oh shit, okay. Well I know what I'm playing here. And I mean, obviously, I played all the Bioshocks, but it was it was uh like very very brutal. You would think it would kind of have like a slight toe down, uh, tone down, and emphasize more on the story. But hey, no, it was cool. I mean, it worked for me. The, the game was great. So I mean, I can't really complain about it. I'm not really complaining about it. I guess you could say I'm more emphasizing on the fact that it was it felt overdone and the, you know in the violence department like it was a little unnecessary but that's just my opinion everyone's inside of their own opinion that is mine anyway this has been cynic hex you guys take it easy peace